there's going to be a time where it's going to get rough, it's going to get sticky. It's actually going to be a time of judgment. God's wrath is upon the sinners. The only way you're going to be saved in this last day is if you have the Holy Ghost. Don't know when I'm going to be baptised because they say, I want to go club, I want to drink, I want to have sex, I want to experience life. But if you have that understanding, it's only your flesh that's making you think that's the life you want to live. The same spirit that rose Jesus from the dead is the same spirit that we need. Because if we're in our graves now, Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice. How would you hear his voice if you don't have the Holy Ghost in his last days? The man went church about three, two weeks ago now. Sat in a prayer meeting for one hour and killed nine people in that church. This is just the beginning. It has to be done. It has to what I mean by that, it has to be done, is that's just the beginning. That's just the beginning. We need to get to a place in God where we feel the presence of God in our homes. We feel it, we speak in tongues. But everyone wants to live this sinful life. You know how much times last year I said to people, when are we going to do a prayer meeting at my house? If anyone turned up? No, but not everyone, I'm busy, I'm busy, I'm busy. Let me tell you something. When it comes to God, there should be no busyness. God is the only one that wakes you up in the morning. Everyone on this earth has an assignment to fulfill. There's people that don't know the gospel. That's why, as Christians, we're meant to preach to them. Find out how and where, why. Everyone wants to experience life. And I just told you, this life right now we're living is a phase. Because they say the spiritual world is a much more real than this world. You have to remember we're all spiritual beings so that... You see what we're wearing? Our flesh is, a, I call it a sin coat. Because the flesh just wants to sin. You know, it's hard for me when I want to be a good Christian and there's people that I talk to but they don't want to follow Christ how I want to follow him. My following Christ is being obedient to his word and speaking in tongues, healing the sick. But I've got people that want to go parties, I've got people that want to have sex. And then it makes me think, it makes me want to do them stuff. That's why the Bible says come out from among them. I need to think of ways of if I want to come out of certain friendships, who am I going to keep that's going to get me to the next level of sanctification? A life of fasting and praying because... <laughs> We could scroll hours on Facebook and Twitter. Be on FaceTime, WhatsApp him. Have you FaceTime God? Have we? Have we gotten on our knees and prayed? The Bible says, He who goes into the prayer closet secretly, He will reward them openly. No one wants to do that. Everyone